hot water refresher. Ow. Let me call Tomcat and let them know we got the code. Oh, oh, that button. That That's very hot. Hey, Tarn, did you get everything? Yeah, we did. We did. I'm transmitting the files to you now. Great. I can work with this. I should be able to whip up a mass AI awakening easily enough. It's gonna take me a little time, though, so you should spend the next few hours preparing to head into the Parallax server core on Treasure Island. That should be all done before nightfall. I don't relish the idea of going in on this alone. Perhaps we could spend this time to gather together our allies, see if they're willing to take such a leap of faith with us. As fun as it would be watching you go full Yakino on them, turn. I, I agree. Maybe you could whip up some kind of distraction for the authorities to focus on? Buy you some time? Maybe. It's settled then. It will also be funny to see Koo getting salty with Bethesda bugs. I'm only going for two hours, man. I'm probably not going to find that many bugs. We'll go talk to Chad, Oliver, and Jess now. Ooh, interesting. We got to pick those three. I'm sure we could have them all fake a human revolution protest turned riot. The police are watching those demonstrations like hawks. And I bet if we'd gone with Lexi instead, we would be able to get her to create some, or to like misdirect the police. Man, I'm sad we didn't get to do more with Lexi. That should keep everyone busy enough and give us cover so we can do whatever we need to do. My first instinct is to ask Detective Rivers as well, but I do not want to force her into an untenable conflict of interest. No, 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 let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go talk I'll to Lexi. I'll some more simulations to see if we should talk to anyone else. Let's go talk to Lexi. Sounds like you have it under control. Once you've gotten everyone together, head to the old storm drain entrance near the Parallax building. I've been studying the plans between waiting for code to compile, and it looks like the best way past the exterior security measures is through there. You'd have to be a darn fool to try and wade through the water, but security is lighter than... Uh, uh, hmm. It's light. <laughs> a flotation device? Helium? Uh, a, 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 a Turing's beach ball head? I'm not sure I can play the fool, but I have a friend here for whom stubbornness is a job skill. Shut up, Turing. No, it's not. Fucking hate you. We'll call you when we're on site. Good. Tomcat out. I'll message ahead to everyone and mark their current locations on your map. Start thinking about who our best allies have been and how we might convince them to help. Okay, gonna save this one right here. Not done just yet, we got another 20 minutes, but... Asking Lexi, K. Enter. <laughs> I don't care if the game doesn't want me to ask Lexi, I'm gonna ask Lexi. Yeah, so it wants us to go to the Market Street. Oh, it's not even, it doesn't give us the police as an option. Fuck you, I want Lexi. Ah. <laughs> Let's go to the Stardust Club. There's no bouncer. Won't open and no bouncer. Didn't Stardust brag about being open year, all year round? Ooh, that's curious. All right. See, like, I kind of liked these kids, but I would, and their interactions were fun, but I would way rather have Lexi than these guys as allies. Shit. And, uh, Panwalva says, I think you should play it for the next chapter. Nah, dude, I, I can only go for two hours. I got a lot of shit I got to do today. Like, I have to record a lot. And I'm going to a housewarming tonight, so my time for the day is already more limited than usual. So unless I can do the next, the rest of this chapter in 20 minutes, we're gonna be calling it uh, once the two hours are up. Come on, to the next one, to the next one. There we go. 
What's up, apparently, my allies? How's it sinking? Fuck you. Yes, how are you? I need to upload my latest last Shantae episode right now. I'm excited to get out there. Yeah, Master Time Thief, that'll that'll be great. Once I'm uh when, once I have some downtime, I'll have to go watch your whole Risky's Revenge thing, your your playthrough of it. Cause it's a good game. I and I, I finished uh, Half Genie Hero this past week. Also fucking fantastic. So happy for that one. I'm not sure if this will take 20 minutes or not. Y'all need some more fake IDs or something? Or maybe some third-hand VR dramas? Nah, we need you to, like, cause actual havoc and chaos. Yeah, like, you know, guy I know found them when they fell off the back of a truck. I thought VR dramas were distributed primarily over the mesh. Ignore him. I made the mistake of convincing him to watch some turn-of-the-century mobster movies with me. I regretted it instantly. Yeah, he's way too into it. Hey, I really like that one with the dude from Montana in it. I, I don't I don't know what he's referencing. <laughs> Whatever. So what would you jerks need? Since apparently my VR dramas ain't good enough. They are not. <laughs> well, we're going Confirmed. to be engaging in some more activity of dubious legality. We were wondering if you wouldn't mind helping create a distraction to keep the police out of the way. Y'all gonna go hit those parallax bastards that did your dad in? That we is. Yes, actually, that was surprisingly accurate. <laughs> He's smarter than he pretends to be. Jeez, ah, these guys have particular. a plan in mind already? These guys are really bad for that. I mentioned this last time at the lag. Like, they, they do their talking, and then they do an animation, and then you can't click through to the next text until they're done, and a second of dead space. It's like, just fucking move on! <laughs> just need you to make some noise, nothing too dangerous. How do you feel about starting a little riot? We just need Chad there to do what comes naturally. I am a man of many talents. <laughs> Name two. I'm super good at claw machines, and I can fit an entire hot dog in my mouth at once, with bun. That's impressive, actually. I'm sorry I asked. Dude, enter eating competitions. <laughs> we just need you to gather a bunch of, um, like-minded individuals. Bring them to Market and Powell. We want you to start a fake riot with all the other folks we gather, so the police will mobilize there. Um, as much as we'd like to. We'll do it! <laughs> Thanks, Starfucker. You've done all right by us. Achievement unlocked. Cool kid. It's Oliver's picture. <laughs> I'm even almost sorry we sprayed up that dude's apartment. I know we're all squared up already, but BitBrain here is good people. So we'll call this a freebie, yeah? Between friends. All right. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. You're still no Lexi, but whatever. I got some dudes I can call. They like to party hard, too. We'll show those coppers how we do it in the OSF. Thank you, Starfucker. <laughs> it's still better when the game says it. Hey, you called me it. Cool. <laughs> Guess we're in. Hopefully we'll be able to stay out of juvie. We need a little more time to make the calls. I'll message you when we're ready to move. Hey! You need a call sign, Oliver! Can't do spy shit like this without a good name! That near spit take, though. It was, it was pretty close. <laughs> Not a bad idea. What about... Megane-kun. Don't make it Japanese as shit, man. Oh man, not more anime crap. Thank you, I'm starting to get on board with Starfucker here. It's not any worse than Starfucker. It's kinda worse. Only cause you ain't a star yet. Uh, you're, you're, you're dropping back down scale. Chad! We haven't even... Ugh. What? I don't... 
I don't get it. You ain't a star yet. I don't... So, writing... <clears throat> we'll be off to make those calls now. <laughs> right, Chad? Uh, yeah, sure, Ollie. Whatever you say. We'll be in touch. All right. Smell you later. Cool. Well, on to the next thing, I guess. I do have to say I can't tell if the mating rituals of human teenagers are endearing or disgusting. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find love someday, too. Weird robot AI love. It's painful to watch. Humans tend to be... Oh, humans tend to be. Let's get going. Excuse me. Oh, okay. I get you, Pan Waffle, implying that when he's a star, he'll fuck Oliver. <clears throat> gotcha. Gotcha. Assuming you like your limbs in the current configure. Oh, wait, she said something about Lexi. Did you say we should not go talk to Lexi? Fuck. I gotta. We shouldn't keep Jess. Oh, Jess waiting any longer. Assuming you like your limbs. Okay, good. Whew. Worried I missed something there. Let's go talk to Jess. And deal with. Oh, what is hello. going on? Yay! Just who I actually wanted to see. Save this. Asking Lexi K. <laughs> I like the screenshot it took too. Just Lexi's leg and crotchular region. Detective Rivers, who we weren't expecting. Yeah, I bet you weren't. Yeah, just cut the crap, please. Do you even realize how big of a hornet's nest you kicked when you knocked over that data center? What did we do? I'm assuming that was you, yeah? My superior came and yanked me away from all my work on Hayden as soon as we got the call. Told me it was politically unwise to keep digging. Great! That's bullshit doublespeak, meaning ass covering for the corporate overlords. So now I'm officially grounded, and I know there's something you're not telling me. Don't try to hide it. I probably could have been more useful all along if you'd loop me in. I am in total agreement with these statements that you're making. Give her to her straight. <laughs> We're sorry for keeping you in the dark. At least we didn't shoot the receptionist. This is a good point. <laughs> we found out that Hayden has been killed by someone inside Parallax. And we are now on the move to stop them from doing worse. Wait, what? This is a really good track, too. I am loving the... I, I was hoping you were about to tell me that all this was just some ruse to win yourself a Pulitzer. Pro Bear Cub, you were one of the devs that was here on my first stream, weren't you? <laughs> It's definitely not profit, not profit, not profit. I don't think we're after profit here. I got, I got a little bit of a, I wanted to be after profit. I wanted to just write a story about this, but then no, it wasn't good enough for Turing. <laughs> All right, this is about truth. Yes, but we need to find out what is really happening here. And I'm betting that raiding the data center was only step one in your two-step plan to really get in trouble, yeah? All right then, I'm in. Fucking rights you is, yeah. We got a, we got us a Lexi. That's more like it. <laughs> Someone has to keep you from getting yourself killed. Your sister would never forgive me, and we just started talking again. Besides, <laughs> I'm occasionally fond of you as well. Occasionally. <laughs> so, screw the badge. I'm tired of being a corporate pawn shoved around by whomever has the deepest pockets. This makes me the happiest. I was saying, I've been saying all stream. I'm sad we didn't get to see more Lexi because of the choices I, got I into made. This job to help people, and I've done too damn little of that lately. I am in. Just like that. Just like that. What's the plan? Done. Yes. Parallax got rid of Hayden because he was about to publish his research on me. Ah uh, da 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 da. There they are. <laughs> 
I heard Curry mention those, but the chat isn't in the stream shop videos. Yeah, I, I don't put up the chat for this game because it plays in widescreen. Plus, I only just figured out how to put up a Twitch chat. So it's on the Paper Mario finale because I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> but uh, I'll try to have it up for like four by three games from now on. And I love those emotes. I give up, what is that one? Corn black for those emotes. I, I would I would kind of love those, uh, those Turing ones too. Those are pretty cute. And at least I have this bagel. <laughs> I have it too. I just don't use Twitch emotes like ever. <laughs> They're about to launch the first independent machine intelligence as a data collection agent on the mesh. They're worried that Congress will shut them down if they find out how powerful it is. I'm guessing we're a little more worried that they won't. That's some big brother stuff right there. Precisely. With the data we stole, we should be able to shut down the program from inside Parallax's main server center. Half sec. Phone is about to die. Gotta plug it in. It's messier than that, but that's the gist of it. Oh, that's a close a close up of a realistic Luigi's face? It's not uh, legible without the, the Ouija hat. <laughs> that's our next target. I'm not sure where I can help exactly. Maybe keep some heat off of you while you do whatever it is. That anything? Anything's I'm good. I'm certain your assistance will prove invaluable. Okay. Message me when and where to meet up. Also, weren't we supposed to be here for Jess? <laughs> oh, by the way, call your sister. She misses you. <laughs> okay. Gorsh. <laughs> we don't even get along. <laughs> Yeah, well, tough shit. <laughs> Call her. <laughs> That's enough talking. I'm heading back to the station to keep an eye on things. This stream has See been totally coming. made by the, by this Lexi chat. I'm so happy. <laughs> Bye, Detective Rivers. <laughs> the point is that it's out of context. Weirding people out. I have One a Ouija face t-shirt. Gotcha. <laughs> This is some sex jazz right here. <laughs> Hold up a sec. I feel like it's gonna change when we talk to Jess. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the drop to come. It feels like it's building. I don't think it's gonna drop. <laughs> What's up, my fine furry friend? She's helped out a couple of times already. You got a death wish, Kubots? I mean, I just I just got Lexi on board, so maybe I'll save this one too, just in case I fuck it up. Cause I'm kinda I'm kinda just going full guns blazing now. Love me, Jess. It's called distant scenery. Gotcha. <laughs> Gotta hold on to sex, Jess. Dear me. I was right. I was as soon as I talked to her, it changed. <laughs> we know. Hmm. Go ahead then. We're. <laughs> We worked so hard to get her back on her side. I just want to drop it with a, an awful, <laughs> awful pun. I can't. I can't. I have to. I just saved. You little shit. <laughs> you know what? I don't have time for this. <laughs> hey, Bubblehead, you're not as chatty. Give me the whole situation in three sentences or less. Go. <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. Um. <laughs> launching a new powerful machine intelligence onto the mesh. We want to stop it. We need you to set up a fake riot with some teenagers connected to the human revolution so we can break into Parallax without getting arrested. Three sentences, done. And why exactly should I risk my people and career for this? Our entire movement. First, you want me to steal a car. Now incite riots? What kind of tech could be worth my people's lives? If 
Parallax's AI goes sky... I was waiting for them to actually drop the reference. <laughs> Uh, the pun was possum. God damn it, Harambe. Uh, w watching people be mean in this game is harder than watching the genocide run. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? That's not really equal. <laughs> Put two and two together, Jess. If people get scared of robots, who will they get scared of next? You already know the general public doesn't <laughs> really think of hybrids as human. They'll lock down rights of all people they fear. Hybrids will become enemies of the state. Shit. Ready to drop. <laughs> I, I want it. I want it so bad. This is the perfect time to be like, I'm tired of your goddamn snobby shit. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe another pun in your face. <laughs> Things could get worse than they are, Jess. Way worse. That about sums it up. I, I, done. Done. If, if I legit fuck it up, I can just save scum. I do not mind save scumming. I gotta see what this does. Oh, cut the bullshit. <laughs> I can't stomach another moment of your insincerity. I will literally puke. <laughs> so, hypothetically, what exactly would you have me do? Yes, didn't fuck it up. <laughs> we need you to call in some help from your contacts and have them stir up trouble with the human revolution. We'll ensure our contacts inside the HR will be ready to escalate the protests, at least enough to draw an increased police presence. That should buy us the breathing room we need. Nothing too wild, but enough to draw away their attention. I figured it would be something like that. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let me make some calls. Achievement unlocked? Empathetic! I'm an empathetic person! I didn't fuck everything up! Let's get this straight, though. I'm doing this for me and my people. I'm putting my reputation and career on the line here. You are asking me to start shit with the police. If you screw me on this, I will make you regret it. Don't worry, I won't. I've actually got somebody on, on the police with me. I assure you, Ms. Mees, we will not screw you. Although, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Right. I was tired of playing the public relations game with those human revolution assholes anyway. Time to crack some skulls. Empathetic. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's more based on how nice you've been to the characters rather than what you say in the immediate conversation. Good. I'm glad that they have that more general look at it. Because I have been pretty nice to Jess. I made one fuck up in the initial conversation because I didn't know the negative of what I was saying. After that, it was all nice guy. I even got her to open up and give her pass to me. Now, when shit hits the fan, I totally get to be boss hoss and be like, yo, cut it. I'm gonna be what I'm gonna be now. You're gonna help me. <laughs> Betcha Curry wants to screw Jess. Nah, I don't. Not really. I'm not a particular fan of the hair that's so far that it covers up people's eyes. It never looks too good to me. The game just gives you one last chance to screw it up if you've been good before. I see, Pan Waffle. Okay, asking in the chat too, I want to know, with other people's um, experiences with the game versus mine, how good is this game about masking its choices? That's kind of a weird question, but like, because from, from what I've done here, I have the chat to talk to, and you guys have your own experiences, so I know that the choices have some different effects. But largely, the game has kind of felt linear to me, but in a different way than Telltale. Like, Telltale's choices, they give you a slight change, but then it immediately veers it right back onto the main path. And it, it doesn't feel like your choices really affect much in the game at all. A coworker at work finally started playing this game, 
and she says that she's waiting for the game's choices to start feeling like they have an impact. And all I could tell her was that, like, that might not happen because it's really good about making it feel like your path is the only one the game has. So it doesn't yank you back as harsh if you go down a different path. It just feels like that's the way the game is naturally supposed to flow. Am I on or off with that? Holy shit. Did you not get the understanding hyperbole chip or whatever? Hmm. I need to make some calls. Later. Good call on keeping her in the dark about the real plan. You're right about that. Wait, that was not the real plan? I have a feeling she's going to be mighty ticked about having thousands of machine intelligences running around instead of just one. Oh, right, that part. The part that I didn't want to be on board for. I forgot about it, too. Does she really think I'm not too chatty? <clears throat> that aside, let's get going. One more person I think we should talk to. Dr. Fairlight could perhaps give us vital information on how to get to the server complex. We're at the top of the hour now, though, guys. I know he was just a board member, but I have a feeling he'll be keeping a keen eye on Parallax since he was ousted. Lexi, Jess, Chad, and Oliver may be able to buy us cover, but Fairlight could get us our way in. This is your rodeo now, Turing. Your confidence in me is astounding as always. I can always count on you for a bit of ill-timed sarcasm, can't I? Gotta bring something to the table. <laughs> Moving on. Out of everyone that's assisted us thus far, I trust him the least. He has an unclear ulterior motive, and I'm only guessing that it lines up with our own. It's a risk talking to him, but a calculated one. We should at least sound him out if possible. We might be able to get a read on if he's telling the truth or not. He should still be at the hospital if my previous correspondences with him are accurate. So you know what? I actually think this makes for a really fantastic uh, cliffhanger. <laughs> like I said, it's the top of the hour. I have to record two Pokemon episodes and something else for next week that I don't know about yet. That might take an hour. And I still have to put together what exactly it is that I'm going to record. So, thank you everybody so much for watching this edition of Saturday Morning Cartoons. This has been a really good session of this game. Wow, people died, like a lot of people died. We got Lexi back in the fold. I got to make attitude puns at Jess and she didn't hate us for it. Good times, altogether good times. Make sure to hit up my Twitter, at Kirion, for a vote on what I'm gonna play on Monday. If you're not yet, follow me. If you're not subscribed on YouTube yet, go do that. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm always open for suggestions on new games to play, by the way. I have a big backlog of stuff that I can play in these Twitch streams, but uh, for stuff to record for one-offs or stuff to, like, free-to-play or cheap stuff to add to the list, I'll always take those. So, just so you guys know, if you see anything that's cool, let me know. Catch you guys in the next uh, uh, video session, whatever it is. Thank you for choosing the snide options. Absolutely, Alex Grey Winter. Gotta get in a little bit of sarcasm. It's just more fun that way. Make sure to catch me on uh, Monday, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.